Welcome back at Transgroom TV. I'm Kitty de Kierskeeter and this is part three of preparing a Brussels Griffon with a rolling coat. Today we have Freccia. Freccia was groomed four weeks ago and two weeks ago. Let's see how the coat is improving. Here you see me using the eye combed and taking out all the goo from his eyes. So let's prepare Freccia again with the brush. I'm using the terrier pad here. Let's investigate. When we take a comb and we open the coat, you can actually see the hairs coming through. They are about half a millimeter long and this is the hair I've taken out four weeks ago. So we have now our first layer. When you go with your hands against the direction of the hair growth, you can actually feel the small hairs coming out. They are short and hard. And now let's do some stripping. We are going to continue or repeat the same handling we did in the first two videos. We are lifting up the hair and the hair which is coming loose each time we take the points out. And you can use the terrier palm pad, you can use your fingers, you can use a comb or you can use a slicker to lift up the coat to then take the points out. Little bit at the time, not much hairs at the time, make it comfortable for the dog. If you hold the skin with your left hand, it's comfortable for the dog to strip away and the skin will stay steady at its place. Here at the tail, as you can see, it's sensitive. You have to find a way to take just the amount of hair which is still comfortable for the dog. So, little bit at the time, or when it's really too hard for the dog, I go over to another part and then come back to the tail when the dog is all calm and maybe he's resting and he forget how difficult it is or how sensitive it is and I go back to the tail in parts. You also have to be very careful bef just before the tail. You don't have too much and the best system to do that is lift the tail while you strip out in front of the tail so it's not like a line that goes down and up. Two fingers before the tail stop stripping and go upwards. Here you see very clear that I'm taking the points and lifting the hair, the system. So here you see me lift and take and lift and take. So you see me here trying to hold myself in, not to take everything out. But I do think that Fretcher will be quite short after this grooming. So I'm actually wondering two weeks from now in the next grooming if the hair will be too short. So here again I'm trying to do these sensitive areas. As I'm taking only a little bit it's very sensitive for Freccia. And the front of the legs is waiting for new hair to come through but it's so long I'm trying not to take very much out but it's difficult not to. So it's like has some long strings at the, the back legs which I really have to save for next grooming. And at this point I'm thinking the next grooming instead of two weeks should be three weeks or else I won't have enough hair to work with. You see me explaining how the hair is come sticking out when I have my finger at his shoulder so everything which is sticking out has to come out. So here I'm just trying to make it as straight as possible. So it's also not very nice when it's going in at the shoulder because then it's like very narrow. So leave some hair at the shoulder and as further we get a rolling coat, the more easy this will be because you will always have hair underneath to keep this style and you will be able to build the shoulder as heavy as you as you like and then you can also build the shoulder like it's going in a bit and coming out a bit and that's the advantage of having a rolling coat. Also later his chest you will be able to create like a more round chest make it 
shorter in the neck or below the neck and then making the chest come out a bit more and this is also the advantage of having different layers. Here you see me using the Yento Ergoline Blender 48 teeth for finishing and making where it's short and long blend to each other. And I'm also using the same brush or the terrier pad to lift everything down and up and to brush it in all kind of directions and only with my blender I'm taking out the points. With my blender I'm going to move my blender and each time I cut is going to be a different part. I'm never going to scissor twice at the same spot not to have any holes or not to have any bold places. Here we go again at the legs trying to take out all the longest bits I use the ears as a line to end the head. I'm trying to create a nice round head and here it has to stop and blend into the cheeks and at the front of the ears it has to stop and blend in with the neck. It has to create a round head, maybe a bit flatter, uh, a bit flatter in the middle of the head and then a nice round head. For the ears I'm using the solid stripper again. I guess my fingers are coming tired from all the finger stripping and it's easier for the short hairs and to take the short hairs out with the solid stripper. As you can see the chest and the shoulders and the neck you don't see through the black hairs anymore. Actually you do but before it, you saw the skin and it was like a little bald and now because of the new hairs has broken through it's everywhere is nice and black and it's like thick and the color is good so we are doing the good thing. And here you see me again taking a little bit at the time little small hairs out of the beard and the side and the cheek and the moustache Fred is looking very sad when I'm doing the front legs. He doesn't like it very much, but he's behaving very well. Okay, so now you see me finishing the front legs. Here you see the finishing result. As you can see, Fretcher is now nearly finished. Part three. Here and there a little bit more. And he's starting to be more stylish each time he comes. For the comfort of the dog, it's better around the sensitive areas you clip away or you scissor away the hair. I'm trying to do also at the toes, stripping out a bit of the hair also to create long hair, but as, as you can see, Fretcher doesn't like it very much. And here again we're going to do the feet, just by scissoring round a little bit. This was part three of creating a rolling coat on a Brussels Griffon. If you like the videos, please give it a thumbs up. Just click on the thumb down there. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them down below. And don't forget to subscribe. And now have a look at the pictures before and after of the part three. See you on Transgrim TV for part 4 of preparing a Brussels Griffon with a rolling coat. <laughs>